Hello to everyone, this is Joanna, and this evening I am back to share my thoughts on the Buff City Soap Shower Oil. I have tried this oil out tonight, so this is only based off of tonight's impression because I'm going to use it probably, I don't know if I'll use it the days that I work, um, but I'll probably use it that Sunday and that Monday shower because usually when I come in from work, I like to use my cleansing soaps. But I really do like this as far as my first use with it tonight. So we're going to talk about it for a little bit. So I have the unscented one. And I think when you have fragrance added, they might put that here. I know the ones that had fragrance in the store had that on there. So we're going to go to the back of this again really, really quick. Um, hopefully so that you can read this. Here are the ingredients. Olive oil, almond oil, avocado oil, hemp oil, phthalates. Me and my son <laughs> had a laugh over this word when I was trying to tell him about words that are spelled different than how they sound. Paraben free, free of fragrance also because I got the fragrance free version. And it says to spray evenly on the skin and rub in, rinse with water. Now, it also says it will make the shower slippery. So I'm going to be in agreement with this just because I used to use a lot of oils. And I will say this, when I sprayed this tonight, I was careful not to just spray it anywhere. Like I sprayed it directly on the body part that I wanted it on, um, my legs, my arms, my shoulders, everywhere that I directly wanted it. And I rubbed it like it said. Um, and then after that, I rubbed it with a washcloth and rinsed it off. It is very low to no sudsing as most oils are. I know my L'Occitane oil has a little bit of a foaming action, but not a whole lot. Because when I first used it, I actually hated it. I didn't really know what to do with it either. And I thought that it was that kind of oil that you put on and rinse off, much like I'll do my Palmer's or my Neutrogena. Um, and it wasn't that type of oil at all. It too is a shower oil which you apply on your body and rub with your hands. And I would usually use a thin washcloth, but this oil in particular, one of the things about it was this, like you see this little trigger here, it has a pin here and you push this pin because I didn't know this. I didn't even ask them. And then I went to test the trigger and sprayed my wall. Now it comes out almost in a squirt. And since I am on material here, I'm not where I can spray it to show you if I were in the bathroom or over the sink. It comes out in a squirt and not a spray. If there was something I would change about it, that would be it. I wish it would come out more like a spray. And you can put your oils into a spray bottle. I do like this bottle, but I will say this. Once I was in the shower, okay, and I started spraying, I had to really make sure I had a good hold on this container because your hands will be slippery with the water. And for those of you that clean your showers after each use, kudos to you. Keep that up. <laughs> those of you who don't, you know what I mean? Because sometimes your shower isn't filthy. Do make sure that you clean the base of your tub or the base of your shower floor because even though I sprayed this where I wanted it at, it's going to rinse off. And that area where the water touches is going to be slippery. Now, it wasn't ecstatically slick, but I would make sure that before I stepped back into that tub for any purpose, I cleaned it. I myself use the scrubbing bubbles or I will use those lavender um, magic eraser sponges that I have. So this is a product that I definitely want to be sure that I wipe out the base of the tub or the base of the shower with. Um, just so that when you get back in there or whoever gets in there, they don't run the risk of slipping. So as far as this on my skin, I liked it. Um, now what I did was I used the soap that I was going to use first. And then I used my shower gel that I was going to use. And I used this last because with it being an oil, it's going to prohibit your soap from sudsing up completely. If you know what I mean, you always want to use your oil last, be it a rinse oil or a soap oil. You always want to use your oil last. And my skin felt very moisturized. Now, the reason why I said this is just my initial use, because sometimes you can put on an oil and your skin can actually feel drier. So I just wanted to wait and see how this did. 
but I dried off my skin was very comfortable the water beat it up and then I applied the lotion that I was using which is my raspberry and sweet mint I used my um what soap did I use the almond castile soap by Dr. Bronner's and then that was like my base clean and then I used my oatmeal soap just for the sake of using it and then I had a bar of the um the berry soap that I got from Nectar because it had the same scent as the shower gel and then I used my shower gel and then I used this last so this was very comfortable on the skin um, it wasn't irritating, but I did see a review where someone used one of their soaps that actually had eczema and it said that it broke her out. All the other reviews for the particular soap that I was looking at were good. And I just mentioned this because y'all know that when I first went in this store, I had told you that when I went into the chicken salad place, the lady in there said she asked them specifically if they had anything for eczema and they told her no. So I'm going to assume that even the unscented soap might not be good. I have not encountered anybody yet with eczema that um, has used these products and told me anything because this was a new soap place to our area. Um, it had been here, I think, since right before Christmas. And I just went the first haul that I did. So today was my second visit. So as far as I know, I'm going to assume if they told her they don't have anything for eczema, then their products must not be made. You know what I mean? I don't know if even the unscented would be gentle enough, but they had used one of the scented soaps. But I really do like this shower oil and I definitely wanted to try this out before I get the scented ones because like you heard me say, there's a couple more that I want, but I really don't need a whole lot of oils. Now, in the wintertime, I do incorporate oil into my bathing routine more when I would take a bath and you've heard me say in the winter time I get particularly itchy I would put a cap full of my Palmer's or Neutrogena those are my number one oils that I will purchase and buy for the winter um I do try other oils I had a bottle of blue it was light blue colored calendula oil years ago you know I was using that with my lotion um, I have unfragranced Bath and Body Works oil that I also use, you know, with my lotions. But in the wintertime, it's always great. I love the um, oil face washes and I love the oils for the body more so around this time because our skin does tend to get drier and it needs that oil barrier. You'll hear a lot of people say it in their hygiene videos that have learned about oil. So... I like this oil enough that I will continue using it and I will also look forward to getting another one. My second purchase will probably be the Old and Honey one because I want to try to keep it as basic as possible. But I do want one that's in a scent and I'm going to try to pick one. But as for this being an unscented oil, I really do like it. Now, it wasn't full, so I didn't use a whole lot. Like, it wasn't any fuller than this one I showed it in today's haul. If you saw my video today, I don't know if I showed the level like this, but this isn't how much I use. It wasn't full to begin with, and it didn't take much for what I was doing. I did, like, two squirts on the legs and one squirt on my arms and one squirt across my shoulders um, and a little bit at the mid part of my back, and that was all that I used, and because it's an oil... It doesn't take much. Now, what I am planning on doing when I use this again, which is why I say it won't be during work, because I didn't do this tonight because I'm taking my bath prior to work in the morning. But what I will do probably Monday, not Sunday, because I have to wash all the grime away. <laughs> but what I am planning on doing Monday is just using this by itself, like I will take a shower and I will use this by itself to see like maybe perhaps if it foams up more or whatever, but I'm going to be trying to see if I can find reviews on other people that have used this oil. But like I said, be careful with the trigger part because it comes out in a spurt. I wish it came out in a spray and I did not try to turn this to see if it adjusts and it don't. So I'm going to try to hold this so you can see this here if this matters to you. 
as you can see there why it comes out like it does but this doesn't turn and even if it did it's not like the nozzles like on our cleaning things where you can have it to spray or to squirt it just comes out like that so i'd say be very careful with it in that regard but i really like it on the initial use enough to where like i said i will start using this again um, I will use it Sunday night after I do all of my base cleaning, but I will use it again Monday by itself. So I just wanted to come back and share that I did try this, and that was it. And until the next time, everyone, have a great evening.